Except one. Will you be watching Deal or No Deal Double tonight from six here on Challenge? A quarter of a million pounds. 22 identical sealed boxes. And no questions except one. Deal or no deal. Welcome to Deal or No Deal, and we all are still recovering from yesterday's show, which was quite incredible. A real drama. The beautiful Natalie dealt out at £22,000. That was the offer from the banker, and she took it. We played on to see what would happen, and the box that she had selected actually contained the quarter of a million pounds. It was an incredible game. And it just underlines that this show is all about timing. That scenario could happen today. We have 22 different sums of money from 1p all the way through to £250,000 on the game board. Each of these amounts is in one of our 22 sealed boxes. 22 different amounts of money in 22 identical boxes. And nobody knows, I certainly don't know, which amount is in which box? One of our players will be coming out here to join me. And, of course, they have a chance to win by keeping their nerve and using their instincts. Let's find out who it's going to be. Our Friday player for a fortune is... Morris. <laughs> Turn to join me. Welcome. It is indeed your turn. You've been standing up there for quite a while now. Yeah, I've been paying rent. Yeah. <laughs> Two weeks you've been standing there. Yeah. But here he is, Maurice Cheshire from London, a van driver. Yeah. Surprised you didn't throw the box from the other end of yeah, the... Yeah, it's all broke. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is worrying, Morris. You say you're quite unlucky. Except for today, hopefully. What are you basing that on? Um, I don't know. i just got a feeling that if something's good in that box, it'd be good. And if it ain't, it won't be good. <laughs> I think he's grasped the game. Yeah. <laughs> Right, this is the point where we begin your journey, hopefully, to a fortune. You have to confirm, please, that box was chosen by you before the show at random. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, all of the boxes have been filled and sealed by an independent adjudicator. Nobody knows how much money is in box 20 or, indeed, any of the other boxes. Your task is to now start opening all the other boxes. As you do so... We will follow the progress on the game board. Also following that progress is the banker on the other end of this telephone. He does not want you to be successful. He is the one person here today, this afternoon, who wants to see you fail. And failure, in his world, is that Morris drives his van away with one P in it, the smallest sum possible. And... First offer comes after the first five boxes. Are you ready to begin? Yes. OK, could I please have the first of the first five? Number one. Box number one. Hi, Becky. Hello, Noel. Please, start the game. Open box number one. Good luck. £20,000. Mm. The idea, Morris, is to stay to the left-hand side of the board which you will now do, please, with your second selection. Uh, number four, John. John, would you please open box number four? Good luck, Morris. 750. <laughs> right, that's fair. So, now we know... <laughs> 750 pounds is not in this box. 
£20,000 is not in this box. Next one. Uh, number 11, please, Jane. Box number 11. What do you think, Jane? I hope it's low. You hope it's low, mm, but what really do you do. think? What do you feel? You have psychic qualities? <laughs> Let's we'll see. I hope it's low. I hope it's really low. Do. Open yeah. box number 11, please. We hope it's low. It's a thousand. <laughs> that side, but it's the lowest on that side. Next one. Mm, number 14, please. Box number 14, Adrienne. Hello. Hello, no. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Good. Make his day, please. I'll try to. Yeah, and keep it low. Box 14. Open it. One <laughs> That's better. That's better. That's better. Yeah. This could be a very strong opening round if you could keep it all to the left-hand side. Next one. Number five, please. Number five. If... This is on the left-hand side of the game board. The offer is going to be strong. Take out one of the big ones. You're not going to be happy at all, Lindsay. Open box five, please. Look, Morris. Five Ooh. pounds! <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Great. Think it's going to be a uh, good offer? Uh, no. Why not? Because he don't like giving away money. He'd probably reverse the charges. <laughs> um, <laughs> <pretty> good. <laughs> You've done the right thing. It's a very strong opening game play. You've still got the 35, the 50, the 75, the 100,000, and the quarter of a million is still there, or as Natalie proved yesterday, it could actually be there. I've still not recovered from that. I thought that there was a quarter of a million pounds sitting throughout yesterday's game right there. Good afternoon. How are you? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, he describes this as a huge opening offer. For that box, now, £3,900. Hmm. Good offer. It's very good. Very strong opening offer. That repair my car. What happened to the car? It doesn't fire on all cylinders, and that'll probably get the other ones working. Nearly four grand. How many cylinders has it got? <laughs> Three, and it's only got two at the moment. Morris, it's a very strong opening offer from the banker, which will fall apart, fragment, diminish dramatically if you take out, with the next three boxes, those big numbers. Yeah. At £3,900, deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's go. Let's keep them left. Keep them left. Stay away from anything above 50000 Stay away from it. Uh, number six, please. Number six. Hello, Hello, Elaine. Would you please open box number six and keep it low? Good luck, Morris. Hundred pounds. Oh, yeah. Perfect start. Perfect start. Two boxes before the next offer. Uh, number three, Lem, please. Anything above thirty-five thousand, fifty thousand is going to be really bad news. Open box three, please. Good luck, Morris. Thank you. One yeah. pair. Excellent. Come on, come on, come on. Third one. Uh, Offer's coming. Number nine, please. Lane. Box number nine. 
Our other Elaine, if you can keep this one low, the next offer has to build significantly on 3,900 because everything above 35,000 pounds is still there. Avoid those and he is laughing. Please open box nine after the break. <laughs> Mario is back. The world's favourite plumber returns in the Mario game everyone's been waiting for. Super Mario 3D Land. A brand new adventure in your favourite world. Completely new levels, new abilities and revolutionary gameplay. Pre-order Super Mario 3D Land now. Only on Nintendo 3DS. and offers on everything you need from Boots. Evening. Starts with a Windows 7 PC. Oh no, oh yes, this is critical. Oh no, oh yes, no command can walk alone. I'm living like you and me. The whole world wants to see how crazy it is. Get it on for the end of the world. New Links 2012, the final edition. Kodak has the lowest total ink costs of any printer brand. So you can afford to print what you like. Coda. Beautifully cheap printing. Start saving today. This is the iPhone 4S. It's all new camera with 8 megapixels and advanced optics. Let's you capture stunning photos. And because it's an iPhone, you can do things no ordinary camera can do. So maybe the only camera you need is the one on the most amazing iPhone yet. Last Thursday, an independent price checker confirmed that Asda had this many branded products cheaper than Argos. Including all these great electronics brands. And you can order online and we'll deliver free to your local store. So why would you pay more? Asda, saving you money every day. Unlike ordinary folk, this fella takes matters into his own hands when a lorry blocks his drive. <laughs> In this situation, everyday people would call a vehicle recovery service. And when a bevy of Irish dancing beauties need transport, most of us would just hire a minibus. Come on! These are no ordinary men, but this is no ordinary contest. UK Strongest Man 2011, Mondays at 10, new and exclusive to challenge. I love you, you know that. On the first page of a story, the future <laughs> seemed so bright. If I lost you, I couldn't take it. It's Adam's destiny to be with Cassie Blake. And this thing turned out so evil. Demons. I don't know why I'm still surprised. 
The Secret Circle, Wednesday at 8, brand new and exclusive to Sky Living HD. Welcome back to Deal or No Deal. Morris is today's player. Our van driver from London is delivering a fascinating game. From 35,000 upwards, you are in an incredibly strong position. You've turned down the first offer from the banker of 3,900. If Elaine can keep you low, and at this moment, low could be anything from 15,000 downwards, the next offer is really going to make you think. Elaine, open box nine, please. Is that more? Thank you. 5,000! Yeah. 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 What a game. What a game where you're... Uh, Ups and downs? Where you're quite happy to throw away 5,000. No, right. I think you... Right out of the back of the van. Yeah, you want the 5,000 out of the way. Um, you had him worried the first time when that block was sitting there, if you can keep that block in one piece, you could be up with some of the highest offers that we've had. He's taking his time. Oh, I was about to say he's taking his time, but he's made his mind up now. You've made your mind up now. Yeah, I think it... Well, hang on, let me ask him. It's difficult to read him. He's got quite a good poker face. Are you enjoying yourself now? Loving it. Do you realise the kind of pressure you will be under if you decide to continue, if you reject this offer from the banker? Yes. Yes. <laughs> He's saying, by your mannerisms, you're a fraud and that he doesn't think you can cope with the pressure. We better send sound some biscuits then, it's a long night. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to tell him that. Um, he's confident he can progress. Thank you. Um, before he got to the sum of money, Morris, yeah. he said you should accept this offer before you get out of your depth. 7,100 pounds. It is the highest ever second offer from the banker. 7,100 pounds. So much bigger than 10p, 50p, 10 pounds, 50 pounds, 250 pounds, 500 pounds. All of those could be in that box of yours. Yeah. On the other hand, look, you've got those five there, and when are you ever going to be in a better position to win a quarter of a million quid tax-free? Yeah. But the decision is yours. Yeah. You are the recipient of the highest banker's second offer has ever been £7,100. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> OK. You have to open... You have to open three boxes now. There is no going back. Stay away from that block and just think how big the next would be. Away you go. Um, I think I'll start off with 13, please. Number 13. Hello, Karen. Hello. Welcome. You're our new player okay. since Natalie went away with 22,000. I hope you're about to bring good luck to box 13. Would you please open it, Karen? Good luck. 35,000. Mm. It's at the right end of that magic block. It's the low end of the big numbers. Depending upon this one, I think that wasn't disastrous. If this is another of the big numbers, it feels like your luck is changing. What's it to be? 17, please. Number 17, Lisa. Put him out of his misery. 17, open the box. Keep that, Morris. 10,000. It's okay, that's okay. 
That's OK. In the context of the all-important block here, now you have one box before the next offer. £7,100, the biggest second offer there's ever been. Stay away from those four. He might even double it. Number 10, please. Box number 10. Eddie. <clears throat> Hiya. Hello, Noel. I think it's low. You think it's low? Mm. Open box 10. Stay away from that block. <sighs> okay. 50,000. Well, in a rather uncanny but extremely neat way, you're taking the lower end of the big money block. Yeah. Uh, it's a shame. You think he's going to go down from 7,100? Um, if he wants to give me 75, I'll let him go home early. And if he gives me something low, you'll have to stay. At which point does cockiness and courage turn into stupidity? When I leave. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen some brave performances this week, but you've got a lovely twist on it. It really is most infectious. I really, really want you to beat the banker. I really want you to. <laughs> I would love to think that he's met his match in Morris. Um, and I guess, I guess he's, uh, he's not met anybody with quite your streak of uh, the cocksure Londoner. And uh, you might be unsettling him for all I know. Just tell me when you want. Oh, go on, if you want, yeah. Let oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's your, it's your shot. All oh, right, yeah. Sorry about the delay. Could we have um, your third proposition for Morris, please? Hmm. Yes. Uh, by taking out... Certainly the 50,000. You've given him some confidence. Yeah. 7,100 was the biggest second offer. You're now at 6,500. He is forecasting, Morris, that the good luck is over. He is predicting that in the next three boxes, you won't harvest on the left-hand side. You will destroy on the right-hand side. 15,000, a lot of money in anybody's book. And then, because of the way in which this has unfolded this afternoon, you've got the 75,000, 100,000, and 250,000 that could be in your box that you chose before the show. The offer from the banker to you now to walk away and hand that box over to him is £6,500. Deal or no deal? No deal. Do me a favour, Morris. Just do me one big favour. Prove the banker wrong. Stay away from the three on the right. Uh, 22, please. 22, Lee. No. Good vibes? Oh, 10 bob in here, mate. 10 bob? Yeah. <laughs> Open 22. Stay away from the big numbers after that, please. Good luck, lad. 250 pounds. Yes. Right. OK. The good news is you cannot decimate all three of the big ones now. Two boxes away from the next offer. Uh, number two, please. Oh, yeah. Number two. Rita. Good luck, Morris. Would you open number two, please? 15,000. <laughs> That's good. Stayed away from it. You could only take out one of the big ones. You could only take out one of the big ones. 
If you don't touch them at all, it's going to be a massive offer. Has to be. Uh, number 12, Maddie. Number 12, Maddie. Sir. <sighs> don't open it. Until after the break. Oh. Right now at Morrison's, we're giving you 6p off every litre of fuel when you spend £40 or more in store. Fuel Britannia at Morrison's. See in store for details. Isn't it awful when your journey grinds unexpectedly to a halt? But from just over 10 pence a day, that's 39 pounds a year, you can join the AA by calling 0800 44 44 45. We mend more cars by the roadside than anyone else. So to join the UK's number one choice for breakdown cover from just 39 pounds a year, call 0800 44 44 45. The AA for the road ahead. This is the iPhone 4S with iCloud. Now, when you download a song on the go, it's there when you get home. Make a change on the way to work, and it's waiting when you get there. Bookmark a page on this, and it's ready on that. Now the things you do on your phone are where you want them, automatically. iCloud, on the most amazing iPhone yet. Glitterberry grape and cherry gloriously grasps my grateful gullet, giving me grounds to grin greatly. Ah. Mm hmm. Best films this year. Come on, do it. No, you way. said you would. Ah, look weird. I look like Voldemort. Oh, that's really nice. 50-50. Magnum Mini Liqueur. Irish cream and limoncello. Full Magnum pleasure in mini size. hard all week so we had an idea unlike other major banks we open every branch every Saturday to give you more time to do your banking every branch open every Saturday Halifax the people who give you extra the Sabre menu is full of classic McDonald's tastes, such as the mouth-marvelling 99p medium fries. So classic, if they were a film, it would be timeless and all emotional. Or the taste bud sizzling £1.39 double cheeseburger. So classic, it would make the most classic car feel a little bit sad. That's McDonald's and then some. Something sparkly this Christmas. Fabulous sequin boots for just £18. Christmas at Matalan. It's my job to get into accidents, but it's not yours. And you shouldn't stand for it. So if you've been in an accident at work, on the road, or anywhere else for that matter, then you may deserve compensation. Call BGR Bloomer today on 0800 177 2. It's free to find out if you have a claim and 100% of the compensation goes directly to you. BGR Bloomer. to a dinner party with a delicious twist. Rank your fellow diners in public. No! Where bridges are built. Nice to meet you all. Yeah. Only to be burned. Layla thought that girls stick together. Uh, we don't. This proves how hard this is. It shows how ignorant and thick some of them are. Eat, drink, and be wary. I find it irritating. I wanted to reach across the table and smack them in the face. The Devil's Dinner Party starts Wednesday, November 23rd. Sky Atlantic HD. You're back with Deal or No Deal. At an absolutely crucial stage in the proceedings, Maidy, if you can keep your friend Morris away from the £75,000, the £100,000, and needless to say, the quarter of a million, he is going to get a fantastic offer from the bank here. No problem. No problem. Maidy, I hope your confidence will now translate into something less than £3,000, please. It will be. Open box number 12. Good luck. 
100,000. Well, uh, that was a shame. Whichever way you look at it, whichever way you cut it, whichever way you consider it, that was a great shame. The good news is, being optimistic and positive, you could have a quarter of a million pounds in your box. At this stage, yesterday, Natalie was sitting on that stool with a quarter of a million pounds in front of her. Unfortunately, as it transpired, she dealt two offers too soon. That shouldn't put you off taking this offer really seriously. Yeah. I would caution you when I pass on the banker's offer, I'd caution you this time not to do a knee-jerk reaction. If in the next three boxes you were to take out 75,000 and 250,000 and be unfortunate enough to take out the 3,000 or indeed any of the others, you are going to be way, way down, probably in the hundreds. Yeah. It would appear as if your forecasting has been accurate, yeah. Yes, on two occasions your forecasting has been accurate. He thinks it's over. He thinks your good fortune, that robust start, is finished. It's a distant memory. But for some reason, he is still concerned about your progress. The reason, I think, is fairly evident by looking at that side of the board. He's doubling the offer to £13,000. <laughs> if you don't accept this offer, you have to open three more boxes. It comes down to how confident you are, Morris, that you do not remove the two big numbers in the next three. Do you want a bit of moral support from your friends? Um, yeah, I suppose so. Trevor, you were very helpful yesterday for Natalie. I think you calmed things down very nicely. You seem to put her 22,000 in perspective, and I think she valued that. You pointed out it was a thousand pounds for every year of her life. <laughs> we need the voice of reason. What do you reckon? I've looked at the board, and I just feel um, he's still got two big numbers there. He's been incredibly unlucky in the last two six picks to pull off some of the reds. Um, my feeling is he's got to change his luck. Um, and he can even afford to lose, I mean, at 13,000, he can even afford to lose the 250,000. Because 75,000 left with five numbers left is still a lot of money sitting there. My feeling is I would no deal. Morris. 13 thousand pounds real money for that box right now deal or no deal no deal yeah. good call brave call brave call hopefully not a foolish call okay now that was a very, very good summary from Trevor. Of course, if you chose his box and it's got a quarter of a million in it, he owes you more than a drink. <laughs> Where are you going, Morris? Number seven. Number seven. Okay. okay, it's lucky. Yep, we all hope it's lucky. It must not be 75,000. It must not be 250,000. Jennifer, will you open box seven? Good luck, Morris. Ten <laughs> Taken out the lowest thing we had on the board. Do that with a 50p. Do that with a £10. Stay over there with the next two. The next offer is going to be sensational.
What's it going to be? Your 21. second one. 21. 21. 21. Jan, come on, I'm not going to muck about with this. We want to get to this point of decision. Open it, keep the... Yeah, boy! Yeah. 500 pounds! Yeah. You can't take them both out! <laughs> Number eight. Cannot possibly take out both of those. We could be in life-changing territory. It mustn't be 75,000. It mustn't be the quarter of a million. Sam, open box eight. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. Ten pounds! Good shot! Could not have been better. Could not have been better. He was right. Yeah. Your luck was due to change. It has changed dramatically. £13,000 you deliberated on. Your decision was absolutely right. And now the banker knows there is a 40% chance that you can win £75,000 or more. Um... I'm interested to know how you're going to play this. I think this is going to be a difficult to resist. Hello. Thousand is still there, 75,000 is still there, the quarter of a million is still there, and the banker says this is the biggest offer he has ever made. <sighs> <sighs> to go now, to deal now, 35,000 pounds. <laughs> Look at the odds, look at the board. Don't, please, Morris, don't let the gameplay overwhelm the value of the money. The game board is actually telling you what you need to know. If you, if you actually say no deal, you have to go on. And you're going to take out 3,000, 75,000, 250,000, for example. Yeah. And this would appear to be a really bad moment in your life. Take out the 50p, the 50 pounds, and the 3,000. The banker's offer could be in the region of 150,000 pounds. It would have to be, if you think, of the difference between 75 and 250. It all comes down to, is it worth the risk? £35,000 is real money. It's money that exists at this moment in your world. You say, deal. £35,000, Morris, deal or no deal? Deal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was the right call. I'm sure that was the right call. But now let's find out. This is where the whole game flips over the other way and we continue. The 35,000 is now yours, Morris. It's safe. 
But now we flip it over and what we're looking for is the big numbers to prove that that was a great deal. What we don't want to find out is that £75,000 is in here or £250,000 in there, in which case it will have been a rubbish deal. Tell me about it. So who um, won the battle of wits? Was it the banker who won yesterday handsomely or has Morris beaten the banker? The next three. Open them quickly, please. 19, Trevor. 19. 3,000. That's what you would have chosen, and that would have been a dream opening if the game had gone on. Uh, next one. We're looking 18, for the big Mally. numbers. 18. Mally, open the big number. 75,000. Yes. That validates it. Um, 16. Uh, you are desperate to see the quarter of a million in Kai's box. We want Kai 50 pounds. No. Ah. At this stage, is it possible for the second show running that one of our players has actually chosen the quarter of a million? Have we, for the second day running, been at a table with a quarter of a million pounds in a box? The banker will call and he will tell us what he would have offered you at this point. And he doesn't make it up. This is not fiction. This actually would be the figure that would have come at this stage had you gone on. Yeah. Okay. At this point, he would, if you had not said deal and taken the 35, he would have had to offer you 105 thousand pounds not bad offer you went one deal too soon but who was smart I can't believe this for the second show in succession this box could have the quarter of a million pounds would you like to know yeah did the banker pay over the odds, or did you sell yourself short? All I want to see when I lift this lid is 50p. Out of driving vans and I'd get into selling things because you just flogged a 50p box for <laughs> 35,000 pounds. You beat the banker and that makes me very happy. Anne Morris, well done, 35,000. Have a great day, Ben. It's been a great pleasure to meet you. However, do you remember he did deal too soon. He could have had an offer of 105,000 pounds. That's what this game is all about, the timing. So join me at 4.15 tomorrow, Saturday, and see who will be answering the question, deal or no deal. See you tomorrow. Quickwit offers a quick application, quick approval and quick cash.